Dad? Where is Mom? Mum is shopping. Well, tell her to meet me at the school. The school just called. Ryan is laying on the floor. He is unconscious and blood is coming out of his head. And then my daughter put the phone down. I screamed. No, God, no. Please don't take him. Take me. Ryan is my 12-year-old grandson. I was in total grief and panic. I was on my knees crying, praying for the longest time. I was walking up and down in the room. I laid face down on the floor. I was emotionally and physically exhausted. I could only think of the worst. And for the next 10 minutes or so, it seemed more like 10 years were the worst moments of the 89 years of my life. In my mind, the uncertainty of the thought was that my grandson was dead. While in deep emotional prayer, a very strange, I could only explain it, as something as supernatural took place. All the grief and crying stopped. There was sudden peace in my soul. It was as if God was speaking to me. And these words came to me, Ben, calm down, go downstairs, sit in a chair, look outside at the birds. We have a bird feeder. Ryan is fine. While sitting in the chair, the phone rang. My friend called and told me that my grandson was being taken to Scottish Rites Children's Hospital, downtown Atlanta. My grandson was alive. There was no doubt in my mind that God had truly spoken to me. Then the scripture, Romans 8.26, came to my mind, for we know not how to pray, but the Spirit make an intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. We are totally lost for words, and the Holy Spirit takes our prayers before God, and God gives us the answers. What a wonderful supernatural answer to my prayer from God. We have a wonderful Saviour who gives peace of minds in a crisis. It was a freak accident, but from all accounts, he should have landed on his head and dropped eight feet. Had he done so, it would have been fatal. I just praise God with all my heart for his mercy. Friend, the Holy Spirit can give you peace of mind if you just live for him. Do you have the gift of the Holy Spirit? You know, you can have him today. Just find a Christian church, repent of your sins, change your lifestyle, get baptized. This is where your human faith meets the divine grace of God. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and you'll be in the kingdom of God and live a godly life. And I pray that we'll meet in heaven.